Okay, as far as advantages uh, of a nuclear submarine over a diesel electric submarine are cons is con are concerned, there are many of them. First of all um, is uh, endurance. I mean, a nuclear part submarine has virtually unlimited endurance and therefore it can go as far as it wants to and stay out at sea as long as it wants to. That's theoretically speaking, there are of course li limitations, but relative to a diesel electric submarine, a, nu a nuclear part submarine is far more endurance. That's one. Secondly, um, given it's, as I said, endurance and, uh, and um, uh, range, it can disappear into the distant ocean. Therefore, it is far less vulnerable to detection as compared to a diesel electric submarine. Um, and then um, uh, nuclear power plant is, a, is very powerful, many times more powerful than a diesel or electric or whatever propulsion you compare it with. And therefore, um, you can uh, install large missiles on it. I mean, uh, uh, intercontinental missile would weigh anything from 20 to 30 tons and be about 40 or 45 feet long. You you just couldn't, those dimensions just will not fit on a diesel electric submarine because uh, a diesel submarine is about 2,000, between 2,000 and 3,000 tons, whereas a nuclear submarine can go up to anything up to 10, 15,000 tons. I mean, the Russians have produced giants. So um, all these factors combined, the endurance, the range, um, the, its, its uh, ability to stay out in ocean depth for a long time, combined to make a nuclear submarine far more uh, in, invulnerable as compared to a, um, a diesel electric submarine. So these are the advantages of a nuclear propelled submarine.